Hi everyone, Sarah again with Food Fun Waukesha. Happy Sunday, it's a steamy one out there, um, and I'm heating up my house just slightly um, to be able to make this treat. But this is one of my favorite bar snacks. Um, I get it every time that I go to Foxview Lanes in Waukesha. Um, the mini tacos. And yes, I know it sounds silly because it's probably something that they don't make in house. I know I've seen them at Sam's Club, but I'm making them myself from scratch. So I have some already done here. I'm just going to bring them up close and then I'm going to show you guys how I made them. So mine are slightly larger than what you would get at um, Fox View Lanes or what you can purchase at Sam's Club. Um, but I found these street taco tortillas so I didn't have to cut out the shape myself. So I made them already. I made a few myself. My oven is preheated, which is perfect. So really easy. I added a little bit more flavor to mine than probably what you would get there. But I've been going to Fox U Lanes. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. Um, I used to work at Fox Run Century Liquor that used to be right over there. And now it's all like torn down and becoming a hospital and eaten expanded and all sorts of fun stuff like that. But when I worked at the liquor store, um, that's when I made all of my amazing friends that I have a lot of them still to this day. And after work, our shift would end and we'd want to like go and have a cocktail or, or two or something like that. Um, and so we'd go right over to Fox U Lanes. They had great food, great service. We got to know the bartenders really well. So since I've been working at the liquor store uh, or since I worked at the liquor store and it was right there, we would go right over there after work. So supporting local, great. It's been purchased by someone since it was, you know, since I started going there, but they kept the food menu the same. The wings are fantastic. They are my favorite wings in Waukesha, the teriyaki. Superb by far. Um, we always get them hot, you know, ready to go. We can take our son there. Um, you know, it's spaced out enough that we can have our son somewhere and if he screams or whatever, it's not a big deal and he's not like in the middle of the bar and stuff like that. So we've taken um, my stepdaughters there as well. And then I still like to meet up with my friends there occasionally too. So Fox U Lanes, great place to go. Um, I know there's a few other places in Waukesha that have mini tacos as well. So they might be using the same recipe or whatnot. But I'm going to tell you guys how I made mine. So I started with a pound of ground beef. It's definitely going to make a lot of tacos uh, because I'm barely even using half of it. And I already got six tacos out of it from this basement. So this could be like an awesome like football game treat or something like that. So um, I made the ground beef just like I would for regular tacos. So I just made sure that it was extremely mashed up in tiny pieces. I will show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna bring the rest of my meat up here. So you can see that it's very small pieces. Sometimes when I make tacos, I don't get it as finely separated, but I really made sure that it was very separated. Added the taco seasoning. I also added a little bit of onion powder and cilantro just because I wanted to. Um, added the taco seasoning, the water, just like it calls for. Let it simmer how it was supposed to. And then transferred it into a bowl with a little bit of refried beans, um, you know, to your liking. It's a, it's a creamier mixture inside of these tacos. So that's what I'm trying to replicate. It's not just literally taco meat inside of this mini taco. It's, it's got some flavor. So um, for this probably half pound of meat here, I took two generous scoops out of my refried bean container. I took one generous scoopful of my salsa. I did about a tablespoon of cream cheese, and then I added in some shredded cheese as well. Because the meat was hot when I put it in here, it all mixed together into a very nice creamy mixture. Um, and it kind of holds it all together because it got warm. So there's my mixture. Kind of just looks like refried beans, but if you didn't know better, but the beans kind of coated everything. Obviously put in the beans to your liking. So. Now this was the trickiest part of all. So if you can't find these tortillas, I found them right at Pick and Save, but if you can't find these tortillas, um, you could cut them out of larger size tortillas. I did buy white corn um, because the street, the tacos, the mini tacos that I get are corn shells. I like that crispy crunch on the outside. So I put a few of them on a plate. I'm gonna get my paper towel just slightly damp for some steam. So I didn't get the entire paper towel wet. I just kind of got the middle of it wet and it's gonna spread the water across. I'm gonna put that over my tortillas in the microwave for 30 seconds. While that's going in my microwave, I'm gonna prep my pan. What I learned on the first batch of these is that the topping types likes to ooze out and the tacos like to stick a little bit. So nothing wrong with a little bit of cooking spray on there. That'll help them not stick. And when I flip them or when I put them on here, I'm gonna just taco spray the outside. If you don't steam the tortillas, 
the issue that I ran into is they all wanted to like crack at the seam because they were too brittle. So these kind of cracked a little bit on the edge, but they still stayed together with the mixture. So my tortillas are very nice and steamy and I'm gonna work fast and I'm gonna grab one tortilla. I'm gonna grab, whoops, a little bit plopped out there. Um, maybe not quite two tablespoons, a tablespoon and a half. And then I am just pressing it together real quick and plopping it on the plate. So again, grabbing my tortilla, grabbing a generous portion of the mixture, putting it on half of the taco, closing up the taco, and plopping them in. Um, the first round when I made these, I used my air fryer option of my oven. So it's not actually like a complete air fryer, but it's an air fryer option on my stove that I have. So they turned out crispy on the outside and everything like that. This batch, I'm gonna just make regular. Um, that's kind of some of the menu or the recipes that I found online. Make sure you don't have too much falling out of the outside of the tacos because that's what ended up sticking to the pan and you don't want to lose your yummy filling. So um, possibly, you know, the ones that I'm having at Fox are just basically, you know, beef, bean, cheese. And then they give you a side of um, salsa and sour cream. I'm a huge sour cream fan with these. I put some salsa right inside of it because I wanted that extra little bit of flavor. So I've got them on my pan. Voila, there's my little pan of six. I'm just making six at a time right now. And I'm just gonna quick little spray with my little vegetable oil spray. In the oven, I did 15 minutes total, but I flipped them slightly past halfway through. So I'm just gonna pop them in, let the oven do the work and do all the magic there. I'll wipe off my fingers quick. And now I'm going to show you guys one of these. So I'm gonna come up a little bit closer to the camera. So here is my mini taco, like I said, slightly larger than what you would get at the bar. I've got my sour cream. I hope you heard that crunch because the shell does get crunchy, which is awesome. I love that texture element of the crunchy shell. Um, it's a creamy mixture, like I said, on the inside. I can taste definitely the meat, like the taco seasoning of the meat. I get a little bit of the cream cheese that I put in there. Um, the refried beans, but it's just a good mixture overall. If you didn't want to put salsa on the inside because you were going to dump them in salsa, you could just put some chilies, omit it completely, add some hot sauce to your to your meat mixture, but these are yummy. These are going to be a good afternoon snack for us right now. So kind of in between that lunch and dinner thing, and I knew I wasn't going to have enough to make them for dinner, so we're just going to have them as a nice little snack this afternoon. So this is one of my, like I said, favorite bar treats, Foxview Lanes. They're consistent. They're wonderful. They're probably just a frozen thing that they bring in. But now I know I can make them at home if I wanted to. And they're not that much work. So they get nice and lightly brown on the outside, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I love supporting my local bar. And like I said, we got in and out of there in less than an hour with my son just this past week. Foxview just recently redid its entire kitchen. It looks huge. It looks amazing. I didn't really scope it out. But I love that they didn't change the menu. So they've got all the good stuff that they've always had that I've grown to love. And it's right on my side of town. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to enjoy these. So fall starts officially by next weekend. So I'm definitely thinking I'm going to kick it off with some sort of fall delicious treat of some sort. I don't know what yet. It kind of will depend on what the temperature is outside. I don't like turning on my oven too much if I don't have to. So um, maybe something in my crock pot. Maybe I'll do some crock pot apples or something. But... Um, thanks for joining me. Let me know again if there's something in Waukesha that you know you've had and you want me to to replicate and make. I would love to do that on here. So thanks for supporting your local places and thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Bye. I can't finish the video.